What's up YouTube and welcome to a quick tutorial on how you can get rid of backgrounds from your photos and then even turn them into eye popping profile photos or even YouTube thumbnails. As always drop a like down below and let's get started. And in the description down below you'll be able to download the image that we're going to use for this topic. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to photo and then we're going to find the photo within our photos library and once we import that in we'll go through to the subject and then we can go ahead and start cutting it out and what you're going to do for this one you're simply just going to crack on as it is you don't need any sort of brushes or anything like that and we're going to use the selection tool at the top here and we're going to use the freehand option now what you're essentially going to do is draw an outline around the outside now that might sound a little bit daunting but what you can do is you can simply tap away and create lots of little anchor points all the way around the subject until you create a full outline around them so what we're going to do is we're just going to start down here and what you want to do is you just want to tap and you'll get a little dot just there on the screen and then you're going to continue to tap away sort of around about this sort of distance you don't want to be doing the sort of dots too far from one another otherwise you'll end up with really straight lines and then you're just going to tap away until you completely outline your subject and you want to try and stay within the boundaries of their body or their hair and you want to try and create a nice smooth line all the way around so that when you come to put some effects on it later on you'll get a nice smooth rounded shape rather than a sort of bumpy shape now i'm making my way around the shoulder here and then i'm going to speed up now until we get to the beard now sped up to the beard point here is there's lots of loose hairs now what you want to try and do as i mentioned is smooth out your line as much as possible so you will want to try and sort of get rid of all of those loose random hairs and then try to sort of create a nice rounded image because this image is potentially just going to be used as a profile photo it will be relatively small and so you don't want to have all these minor little details here that are ultimately going to get lost and you want to try and stay slightly within the shape as well just maybe by a pixel or two just to round off the body and the subject and create our marching ants like so and we're going to continue now all the way around the subject until we get to the end And now when we get closer towards the edge here, I'm just gonna finish off the shape by just adding in these extra points. And you wanna go outside of the subject in this example, and you can go straight down here, straight across here, and then you can tap on your initial dot to then see the shape that you've selected. Now what you'll see is these diagonal lines will start to dance around the outside here, which lets you know that this area out here is not selected and everything within that space here has been selected. And now we've got our outline, we can simply go up to our layers, we can tap on the layer with the selection still in place. And if we tap on mask, it will get rid of everything around the outside. Now I've masked it on purpose so that if you wanna go in and touch up certain bits, you can do by simply drawing on the mask and that's a subject for another video. But you just tap on your selector when you're done. And if we get rid of the background, that is how you get rid of backgrounds in Procreate. Now what I'm gonna show you is if you wanna add some effects to your cutout and how you can potentially add it in a profile picture or even a YouTube thumbnail. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna pinch my mask onto my subject now because I know I'm done with it. And then what you could simply do is you could then go ahead and create some layers around it. So let's say you wanted to add an outline here just to really make it pop off of the background. You can swipe it to the left and duplicate it. On the bottom one out of the two, if you tap on it and use the option of alpha lock, that will mean that you can only sort of work within the boundaries of the actual object on the layer. And you can tap on that layer and use the option of fill and it will fill the whole layer in, in black in this case. If we tap on that layer and then turn off the alpha lock and we tap on the layer and use the option of select, we'll get some options down here at the bottom and we wanna to go to feather and we wanna increase the feather up to roughly around about 4% and then we're gonna tap and we're gonna use the option of color fill. Now your subject will end up with a very sort of fuzzy line around the outside. Now how you make that a nice solid outline, we go to our layers and we're gonna duplicate this layer like crazy until we end up with a big thick boundary around the outside. So what I tend to do is duplicate it roughly around about seven times, pinch all of them together, and then complete the process again by continuing to duplicate it, say another seven times, and again, pinch them together. 
and then keep swiping again. And you wanna repeat this process roughly around about three to four times until you end up with a solid outline around the outside. And I can tap on mine and use the option of invert because it's black and I'll get that really cool white outline like so. But sometimes you wanna add a background in there. So you could go ahead and create a new layer. Let's go and drag that underneath our white outline. And then what we can do is we can go ahead and go to our colors and I've got two here. I'll put a link in the description down below and I'll throw them up on the screen now. But what we'll do is we'll grab the blue color and then we'll drag that onto the page and then you could leave it like that if you wanted to, a really nice punchy background. But what you could also do is add a gradient. So we could go up to our selector tool now. And again, we'll use the freehand option and color fill. We'll just turn off for a second, but we're gonna create a dot down here in the bottom left and a dot up here in the top right and you'll get a diagonal line and then just complete the triangle like so. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our color for the second option of pinky purple. And then we're gonna go back and we're gonna use the option of color fill. And if we turn off our selector, we'll end up with that sort of diagonal cut. And then we'll go up to our adjustments, Gaussian blur and layer, and blend those two colors nicely together. And you end up with this really cool background. But how can you make it pop even more? You could add a drop shadow in there. So let's go back to the layer. Let's again duplicate our subject. If we tap on the subject and use the option of alpha lock again and also then switch back to black and then go back to that layer and use the option of fill. And then we tap on that layer again and turn off the alpha lock and drag it underneath our outline. We could go up to our adjustments and Gaussian blur and layer, swipe it to the left until whatever you would like. I've gone up to 10%, grab your cursor, and then just position your drop shadow somewhere like that. And if it's too strong like that, you can also go to your layer and lower the opacity down roughly to say 50%, and you'll end up with that really soft, nice cutout background. And that's it, that's how you cut out backgrounds and create potentially a really popping profile picture or a really eye-catching YouTube thumbnail. If you enjoyed this tutorial, drop a like down below and hit the subscribe button for weekly Procreate content. Big shout out to my patrons as always. I'll throw their names up on the screen now. If you'd like to get some extra Joel Create content, hit the link in the description down below and show your support. And as always, share your designs with me on Instagram. The links are in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one.